Hey fragrance fans, fangirl here. Welcome to my channel. I hope you're all doing well, feeling and smelling fabulous. As you see before you, this is my 1295 candle haul. I just did a video on these babies. I will link that down in the description box below. But also during the 1295 sale, Bath and Body Works was doing a buy three, get three on body care. And there was a specific scent that I love. It's one of my all-time favorites that is an online exclusive this year. So when I saw that they were doing the buy three, get three in conjunction with the 1295 candles, I went ahead and did an online order so that I could take advantage of the buy three, get three and pick up the online exclusive scent. So what is that online exclusive scent you may ask? berry waffle cone one of my all-time favorites one of the best scents bath and body works has ever done in body care one of the most unique scents really and if you look right over here you will see the candle in the scent um and they did translate it to body care came out for the first time last year and i was ecstatic and i was so excited and when i got it i was so happy does it smell exactly like the candle no, it does not, but it is amazing. I love this. I'm a little disappointed that it was online only, but I will take it in whatever way I can get it. Last year it came out in that really pretty, like bubblegum pink uh, carnival type packaging. It was, it was, it was really cute, you guys. I'll put a screenshot up here. I still have some in backup, but when I seen this packaging, Oh my god, I went crazy. Purple is my favorite color. And this is just like this 4th of July theme on all of these scents. Um, the, oh gosh, I'm drawing a blank. The Vanilla, Vanilla Confetti Sparkle. I think that's what they renamed the um, Confetti Cake Pop too. But Vanilla Confetti Sparkle. The um, Pink Watermelon Blast. The, what else is in this collection? firecracker pop and berry waffle cone. I think that's it. I think it's just the four, but everything in this 4th of July collection I'm calling it is so cute. They all have like these little stars and fireworks, but on the berry waffle cone, this color, it just screams, you know, fragrance fangirl right here so pretty. And then you got like the silver fireworks and the red, white, and blue scoops of ice cream on the ice cream cone and you know your waffle cone right there it is so cute you guys i just i am geeked about this packaging so what are the scent notes on berry waffle cone in the body care sweet summer berries golden waffle cone and creamy vanilla and in the candle the same notes sweet summer berries golden waffle cone creamy vanilla so same scent notes as the candle. It does smell a little different guys, but body care is always gonna smell a little different than wax, but I'm so happy with this scent. If you like the candle, well, I can't say that if you like the candle, you like the body care because I know plenty of people that love the scent in wax and home fragrance and in the candle, but do not like it in body care. But I would say those people are ones that are not normal, like gourmet foodie type body care wearers because gourmand in body care is a preference. I understand that, but it happens to be my number one preference. And I love walking around smelling like a berry waffle cone. So I get it that it's not everybody's thing and that's okay. But for me, I love it. Let me smell like a waffle cone all day long. Okay. So it was buy three, get three free. And I picked up two of the creams. Look at that. Uh, sorry, my lighting's went, as my camera's messed up, guys, I'm sorry. Um, two of the shower gels, and they did wrap these so that they did not leak, thankfully, because I've had problems with leaking lately. And again, with the um, 4th of July theme there, the stars and the fireworks. And it's, the actual gel itself is like a very, I don't know if it's translating on camera, especially since I'm having lighting issues. It's like a very, very faint purple. I wish that the stripes on this one 
were the same color uh, lavender as the body cream, but oh well, I'm, I'm just being picky. So then last in this scent, I got the Fine Fragrance Mist. Look at this. Look at this. I mean, this packaging is just everything. If it would focus all the little stars on there and the mist itself on this one guys is a very um i would say that's pretty close it's pretty close to this lavender it's picking up some of the pink of the label but the mist itself is like pretty spot on to this purple here but obviously transparent so it's not going to be as vivid but yeah got a pur purple fragrance there or pur uh, purple mist there. So that's what I got. I got the two body creams, the two shower gels, and the fine fragrance mist. And I already know what this smells like, guys, but rub it in just to enjoy. <sighs> mm, it's so good. You get the waffle cone. You really get the waffle cone. I mean, this smells like you walked into your ice cream shop and started rubbing a waffle cone on your arm. I, I mean, I'm, I'm dead serious. That's what it smells like. You get that sweet, crunchy, savory, buttery waffle cone smell. That is the dominant note. It overrides the berries. It's stronger than the berries. It is, this is a waffle cone scent. And I love it. And then beneath the waffle cone, you get that berry note. And I really never could tell what berries specifically are in berry waffle cone and I'm referring to the candle it just says sweet berries but I definitely it's definitely like a medley it's you know maybe strawberry blue definitely blueberry some raspberry in there it's just a mixture of berries and it's the same thing with the body care it's just a sweet and tart berry mixture and really sugary as well kind of like a mixed berry preserve but in the body care the waffle cone is the standout note it is so strong if you put this on people will think you just walked out of an ice cream shop some people say that this smells like cereal and I get that I get how it could be interpreted as as, as a sweet sugary cereal but to me I smell waffle cone I smell a waffle cone with some kind of berry sorbet in the background and it's amazing. I love this scent. I will purchase it every time they bring it out. I hope Bath and Body Works makes this a summer tradition and brings it out every year, kind of like the firecracker pop. That would be amazing. And this packaging is to die for. I love it, love it, love it. So if you see, I have five of five items from the berry waffle cone collection. That leaves one more for the buy three, get three. What did I get? Here she is guys, Beach Nights. So Beach Nights came out years ago. Um, I'm not exactly sure what year it's, it's been five years, six years maybe. And I remember I was not a fan of it the first time around. I know, shocker. But it's not that I'm, I wasn't a fan of the marshmallow in Beach Nights because I'm a foodie girl all the way. I love gourmand scents. But back then it had a weird fresh note. And I don't, my body chemistry does not respond well to like fresh air notes. Like it's kind of hard to describe. Like it's, it'll smell great in the bottle, but when I put it on my skin, it just doesn't mix well with my body chemistry. But there's so much hype around beach nights. It's so many people's favorite. I was actually just watching a video recently of uh, Tisha King. She said this is her desert island scent. That, and it's a lot of people's favorite scent. And there's so much hype around it that I started questioning myself. Like, why did I not like it? And I, and I remembered it was because of the weird fresh note on my skin. But it had been so long that I had forgotten and so when I ordered online, I just said, throw in a Beach Nights, let's give it a try, see if I like it. You know, your scent preferences can change over the years. 
Mine really haven't, but there are some things that I like now that I didn't use to. And there are some things now that I hate that I used to like. So, for example, I'll give a quick example. Uh, champagne apple and honey that comes out in the fall. It's pretty much a fall staple. I wore, I wore that every September for a decade. And then just this past year, I didn't like it. It's, I don't know. It's something. I don't know if they changed the fragrance itself. I don't think they did. I think it was just something about my preferences changed. It smelled like, like a stale bubble gum kind of, and I couldn't get that out of my head. So anyway, long story short, your scent preferences can change. So I took a chance, went out on a limb, and I grabbed Beach Nights, even though I didn't like it before. I wanted to see what I thought of it now. But I'm going to tell you guys, to be totally honest, what really sold me on this is the packaging. I, I am in love with this packaging. It is 4th of July, like, evening personified with a sparkler there. I love sparklers. And then the night sky with the stars. This packaging kind of reminds me of the Twilight Woods um, that came out a few uh, autumns ago. I don't know how long ago that was. A few falls back, we got Twilight Woods. And oh my god, I was so happy because they have not had Twilight Woods like in store. It's retired. It's on the website. But they haven't had it in store in years. So when that came out and during fall, which is my favorite time of year, I went crazy. I bought so much of it and I still have some. But Twilight Woods is FYI my desert island scent. So the font here and the dark blue kind of reminded me of that, which got me really excited, even though this is nothing like Twilight Woods. The packaging um, gave me that fe that Twilight Woods feeling, so that made me happy. And then just this beautiful design, like bravo to the graphic designers on these summer products. This is so amazing. I love it. It's so aesthetically pleasing. You got the, you know, the gradient there with the prettiest colors ever with the purple and the pink and the dark, dark navy. It's gorgeous. And, and the bling, the sparkle. I love this. But guys, I don't love the scent. <laughs> and I'm so sorry. I know so many people love this one. The scent notes on Beach Nights are toasted marshmallow, sea salt breeze, s'mores accord, beach driftwood, and creamy vanilla. Interesting about how many scent notes there are on this fragrance because Bath & Body Works has been doing less scent notes lately on things and this one just has like a laundry list of things. But that toasted marshmallow, that is, that is my jam. Like marshmallow, Bonfire Bash is one of my favorites of all time. I love marshmallow scents. So this should be something that I love, except there's something in here. And I'm thinking it's that sea salt breeze. I've had driftwood scents that were not so bad on my skin. But whatever that fresh scent is, it does not work on me. So I'm going to get a little bit more, even though I did test this in store uh, prior to getting this order delivered. I'm just going to put a little bit more on. So right off the bat, guys, it's beautiful. It's creamy, toasty marshmallow. But then it dries down into something that I do not like. Like even now, even now, so quick, like that initial fragrance was creamy and, and soft marshmallow, toasty marshmallow, and it's delicious. But then as soon as it gets into my skin, I get this weird fresh air, almost like laundry type. It's like clothes hanging on a clothesline, old school like my grandma used to do, like drying outside. That's what it gives me the feeling of. It's like laundry and air. And it just ruins it for me. I'm sorry, guys. I, I don't mean to knock on anybody's favorite scent. But, you know, we're all different. We all have different preferences. And that's okay. And also, our body chemistry uh, will change scents. Something can smell amazing in the bottle. And then when you put it on, you might not like it. Because it's just how your body chemistry reacts. So, this one's not for me. But this packaging is beautiful. I I gave it a try, guys. Yeah. Sadly, not for me, but anyway, 
beautiful packaging though and i'm so happy that bath and body works brought back a fan favorite because i know many many people wanted that one to come back for years and i'm happy they brought it back so you guys can pick up get, get stock up on your favorite so that will either be going back exchange for another scent or i will gift that to a friend or family member but beach nights just it was not not my favorite this berry waffle cone though oh yeah that's that's my jam I would highly recommend the berry waffle cone if you like foodie gourmand scents, if you like ice cream, sugary, waffle cone, buttery food scents, pick it up. I, it, it's amazing. That's all I have to say about that. And again, guys, this was a combined haul with my candles there in the background. I did pick all of this up at the same time both my candles and my body care because it was a $12.95 candle sale and a buy three, get three. Awesome, awesome sales. So I just wanted to share that with you guys and I did split the video up into two because it was running really long on the candles. But other than the beach nights, I couldn't be happier with this haul and I really hope that you guys were able to pick up some scents that are new to you Bath and Body Works is trying new things and that makes me happy. So I, I'm, I hope you got some scents that are new to you, interesting, and that you're loving. And I hope you get to pick up some of your old favorites like I did. At least that's my experience with both the candles and the body care here. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you found it informative. And if you like this kind of content, please subscribe, guys. Give it a like. It really helps me out. And I would love, love, love to know what you picked up during the Buy 3 Get 3 or what candles you were able to get during the $12.95 sale. Also, what out of the summer collection, there's way more scents, guys. I didn't get it all. I will go back for more. I have to pace myself. But out of the summer collection, both body care and candles, what are your favorites? Let me know down below. And I will see you all again in another video real soon for some more fragrance fun. Have a good one, guys. Thanks.